when you hear Bronzeville, Low End, when you hear Inglewood, when you hear Austin on the west side of Chicago, when you hear Caprini Green on the Marshall Field homes, where you hear the wild hunnids or the back of the yards, what are some things that come to your mind? Right here. What's some things that come to your Jarvis, what's come to your mind? Poverty. Poverty. You said what? Gentrification. Gentrification. Black people. Black people. Powerful black people. What else comes to your mind? Stupidity. Stupidity. I would say like projects. Projects. Yeah, that's like, I don't stupidity. Ignorance. Yeah. What else? Business. You said what? You said what? You said undercover geniuses. Undercover geniuses. Yeah. I like that. What else? Misguided. Misguided. Stereotypical. Stereotypical. What else? Business. Die young. Die young. Mm -hmm. What else? Hidden talent. Hidden talent. Influential. Influential. Home. Home. Possibilities. Growth. Memories. Memories. Nobody is here by accident. Each one of you guys are here for a reason. Each one of you guys were chosen for a reason. We have an opportunity of a lifetime. In the midst of COVID, in the midst of these riots, some of the worst riots since 1968, Anybody know the rise of 1968, why that happened? Dr. King was killed. Dr. King was killed, yes, right? And after Dr. King was killed, they rioted. And some of those lands and those businesses are still vacant to this day. 1968. Right now in 2020, a lot of our neighborhoods are resembling 1968, a lot of our neighborhoods are torn. A lot of the people are angry. A lot of the people have no hope. A lot of people are just giving up. So it's on us right now, all right? We have an opportunity, this is the first time in my lifetime, and I was a history teacher, I think in the history, where we have the ear of the world, Black Lives Matter. We have the ear, people are looking at us and listening to us, what we have to say. People are listening. We have a unique opportunity to change the narrative. We have a unique opportunity to tell a story. Javante, Keandre, you probably gonna have the most important job this summer that you're gonna have the rest of your life. You might make more money. But controlling the narrative and telling a story and giving it to just do is gonna be the most important thing you guys will ever do in your life this summer. Mm. So this is not just about money. This is not just about a job. This is God's work we're going to do this summer. Everybody in here is from these neighborhoods. Everybody in here is from one of these neighborhoods. It's time for us to take control of our neighborhoods. 1865, we were free from slavery. 1960, Civil Rights Bill, 1964, 1965, Civil Rights. That was the abolishment of Jim Crow. The one thing we do not have in our communities right now is economic freedom. Our communities are owned by people who don't look like us. 
And that's why it's easy to riot and to tear down and to destroy and to throw garbage. Because we do not own our communities. You guys have a unique chance right now to take ownership of something. I have guys right here I had since sixth grade when I went into the classrooms at Catholic School on the west side of Chicago. Have guys here since they were sophomores and now going into college that we were in a room that looked like a county waiting room three to four years ago. Guys that were here that was in my first class at Dyer High School. You guys chose to trust me and I don't take that light. You chose to follow me, I don't take that light. Each year, John Reese, Jacarly, Cameron can testify. We grew, right? We progressed. Success don't come overnight. I know it might seem that way. I know some people might even have success, might have a hit song. True success do not come overnight. It's every day being faithful, being committed, being diligent. It says in the word, you see a man that is diligent in his work. He will stand before great men and not amongst average people. You don't have to be seven feet tall. You don't have to have a 40 inch vertical. You don't have to run a 4 3 40 to be great. What you guys doing this summer is going to be great. What you guys are going to be recording and editing is going to be great. What you're going to do in that garden, what you're going to do at that store, that's going to be great. You're going to inspire people that you don't even know yet. You're going to inspire the world. I feel it in my heart. I'm serious about this, man. I'm serious. I need you guys. I need you guys to take this seriously. I need you guys to put 100% in this. I need I know we all got problems, man. Everybody in here has a story. Everybody in here is going through something. Everybody in here, man, including myself. But just like a football game, a basketball game, man, we got to block it out. We hit it. We got to block it out. And we got to get to work. Man. We got to be one unit. We got to be a team. If my brother's down, I got to pick him up. I got to help him out. I got to look after him. I got to trust him. I got to love him. I need you guys. This city needs you guys. This nation needs you. This world needs you. I tell DT all the time, all eyes are on Chicago. I was in Miami this week. Out of everything, George Floyd died in Minnesota. And then we talk about Chicago. People from New York called me, talking about Chicago. Two weekends ago, 80 people got shot, 19 people dead. Most violent day in Chicago in some years. How are we gonna change that narrative? It starts with you guys. It starts with each one of you guys. I'm just here to give you the opportunity. That's all we need, that's all you guys need. I heard everybody say, man, brilliant, smart, intelligent, but just misguided, don't have opportunities. This is an opportunity. I tell you, if you are diligent this summer, there's gonna be other jobs for you guys, Devonte. You don't even know it yet. God has something great for you. You already revealed it to me. He has something great for you. Just be diligent with the little things. Thank you. Just be diligent with the little things.
everybody in here, man. I see you guys progress. And just know I'm here for you. And even every person in here might have a story, especially if you've been with me a couple times, how I looked out for you guys when nobody was looking. I don't do this for fame. I don't do this to get a pat on the back. I don't do it for that. I do it so you guys have the opportunity. I don't want no money when you guys make it. All I, I ever said is just come back and do the same thing I did to you for somebody else. That's all I ask. Come back to the neighborhood or a neighborhood like it, wherever you may go, wherever you may be, and help somebody that looks like you.